Hi, it's Derek Bennett here. We're standing in our almost opened restaurant next door to Bennett's Bistro. This is B-Side Wine and Small Plates, and we should be opening on August 7th. It's been a long haul, but I'm very, very excited now. The design is coming together really nicely. It's worth the wait, and we're taking our time for attention to detail. I have a wonderful little kitchen back there and an absolutely fantastic kitchen staff lined up with a really nice menu of small plates. Deep dish flavor, local items, all kinds of classic preparations to be paired with our wonderful wine list by the glass and by the bottle. Come on down one of these days, check us out after August 7th, and I think you won't be disappointed. Well, let's take a little look around. Come on. We have our wine bar here itself, and you're going to see there's a wonderful feature where the wines are all lined up under here and bottom lit from underneath, so it had a really nice effect with the glass top here. We're keeping everything very lean and simple. We have a wonderful motif here that's going to go through with silver leaf. The restaurant is wonderful color opposite to Bennett's Bistro. Bennett's is white, we are black. Bennett's is round, we are square. We really wanted to have a yin-yang effect with the two restaurants. Also, not going to find too many places with carpet on the ceiling. <laughs> Another interesting uh, design element, we have a designer named Paul Carey obtaining a very out-of-the-box approach to, to design here for the wine bar. We really wanted to have an international feel to it and a snugly warm feeling for the winter time when you come in here. Through here, We'll have a private dining room seating up between 16 and 18 people. This will be all partitioned off with glass. This, um, we want to uh, be able to present to people a customized menu for groups, whether it's a celebration or a business meeting. We'll be uh, able to accommodate either, either concept. Now through here, we have a secret little gem which we're keeping at the back here. And we have a small, very intimate private dining room for eight people back here. I'm just like hoping there'll be a hidden gem back here. It's uh, right next to the kitchen here. I'm also hoping to uh, do small cooking classes here and demos here as well. It's uh, nicely appointed and uh, away from the, uh, the crowds at the front here. So Still a bit of a construction zone, but it is Definitely. coming together. It's at that point right now where it doesn't look like anything's happening, but behind the scenes, so many things are happening. So we have all our lighting in right now. They've done the first coat. They're going to come in and do the second coat. And my little... My little surprise back here, which I'm particularly happy about, is uh, our beautiful little, uh, well, I might add a cramped kitchen, but it's a perfect little gem. And what I love about this kitchen is it's a pivot. I can pivot to anywhere. Uh, we believe in a small kitchen staff, so it's always me and one other uh, chef in the kitchen with me. We keep things uh, simple, and the menu is going to shine. Also, going to be changing daily and weekly, offering uh, specials. Uh, from around the globe, Cuisine Sans Frontières. So we'll be uh, shaking it up a little bit and I'm really looking forward to a new concept. I love very, very much what I do at Bennett's Bistro, but it's always nice to have a new concept and a new element and a new, um, a new outlet for some of my creative energy. Well, that's been a lot of fun, Derek. I'm glad to see we've had a, have a nice update for Omnivores Ottawa. It's been perhaps a little later than you wanted to open. <laughs> that would be an understatement. But, but that is construction point, time. Exactly. Everybody's sharing the trades right now. And we decided if we're going to be late, then that's the way it'll be, and we'll do it right with uh, no cutting corners. Well, thank you again, Derek, for being on Omnivores Ottawa. Thanks, Ron. Cheers. Cheers.